Hello friends, welcome to MoodleWorld.com. I am your friend Jasinder Singh and in this video I am going to show you how to create multiple choice questions in Moodle using the Aiken format. Moodle is widely used as an online assessment tool globally. It is having the world's most flexible quiz engine. You can create questions in different formats with having the different scoring and the feedback options. The Aiken format is the easiest way of writing multiple choice questions in Moodle. All you need to do is just write the questions in a text editor like the notepad plus plus. Please note that you cannot use different programs like Microsoft Word or other word editors. You need to save the file as a text file with .txt extension. But why use Aiken format? The gift format is capable of creating different types of questions in using the similar text file. But it comes with its own learning curve. If you are looking to create only the multiple choice questions, then I will suggest to go for the Aikon format because it is the most simple and human readable format for writing the multiple choice questions. So now I am going to show you how you can do it practically in Moodle. So just to stay tuned. So now I am going to show you how you can write the questions in the text file. I am currently using the notepad plus plus and I have already written two questions in this one. So I will tell you the rules to write the questions. The first rule is that the question text should be on a single line. Instead of breaking it into multiple lines, you should have the question text only in a single line. The answers should start with a single uppercase letter like A, B, C, D and it should be followed by either this period symbol or otherwise you can use the bracket symbol. Both are acceptable. And the third rule is that the answer line should immediately follow all the options with a capital answer like this. And followed by a column and then by the correct choice for this question. So these are the basic rules for writing the questions in the Aiken format. Once you are done then just save this as a .txt file and I will show you how to import the questions in Moodle question bank now. I am on my Moodle local development site and I am currently logged in as the admin user and I am on the site homepage for my Moodle development site. I am going to import these questions in the site question bank. So I will just go to this care icon on the top right side and I will click this more button. Now you can see this question bank tab here and I will just click this import link here. Now I am on the import questions from file page in Moodle so I need to select the default format which I have which I am using. So let's select the Aiken format and now I need to drag the file and drop it here otherwise you can also choose the file. So I am ready with the file so I will just drag it here. Now it is uploaded so I will just click the import button. Now you can see the success message that the importing two questions from file and now you can have a preview of both the questions. So just click continue. And here you are. I have the both the questions in my question bank and I can use them anywhere. So this is the way to import the questions in Moodle question bank using the icon format. If you have any questions or any problems with Aiken format then 
you can post any comments below please share this video with your friends and colleagues to spread the moodle love and have a happy moodling thank you very much for watching